Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I will be showing you how to make some floating dust using Particle World. So this is what the final product should sort of look like. It's a little just floating dust around there. So I'm going to show you how to make that inside After Effects. So let's drag our footage into a new project, um, into a new composition. So I'm just going to, here I have my footage. This is not color corrected or anything. If we want, we can throw on a quick curves adjustment. But add a little contrast and maybe drop the reds a little. There. Just a very quick color grade. And actually, I might add a little vignette. So I'm just going to make a black solid. And use the ellipse tool, make an ellipse, invert it, feather that, and then I'm going to just use the expansion there. Okay, so now we have maybe like a point of view of some little mouse or something, or it could maybe be like a time is still one of those types of things and the camera's moving through it it also could be something like that so now we're going to add in our floating particles but before we can do that to be able to do that we have to track the camera so i'm just going to hit track camera and um okay so it'll just analyze it for a little while and i'm gonna um it's going pretty fast but i might skip through this okay so it just tracked our footage, so I'm just going to click on 3D Camera Tracker and find an area that works. So right now I'm just hovered over this. I'm going to right click and press Create Null and Camera. So now we just have a little tracker null that if we just solo this, it's not going to seem to move. Oh, but we need the camera. And then we'll see that that just has the movement of the... Um, of the footage on it so now our footage is tracked so we can add in the particles so this is looking pretty cool so I'm just gonna turn off this null no object I'm actually even gonna hide it I'm just gonna press that and then press the shy button so it goes away there so now that we've tracked our footage we can add in the dust so new solid any color and add in particle world Okay, so right now what we have is this. So you can see the camera is going through, but it's not at all the particle effect we want. So I'm just going to go to about there, and I'm going to go to the producer and turn up the radius of each to, say, 4. And so now we have this. Again, cool, but not what we're really looking for. So I'm going to go to the um, longevity or however, whatever, however you pronounce that, and turn that up. Then physics, turn that to um, twirly, and then rotate the world so it's pointing at you. And then go into particle and change it to either faded sphere or darkened and faded sphere. Um, for this, I'll use Darken and Faded Sphere. And so now we have that little... Actually, you know what, I'll just use Faded. So that's pretty cool, but it's not quite the motion we want. So I'm going to actually turn this opacity up to 50%. And then the size variation up to 100, because dust can be different sizes. And then the gravity to 0. And so now it'll be pretty much still, but they'll be moving around a little bit, and I'm just going to turn down the velocity so they're not moving too much, it's just a slight little, slight little movement, and now maybe I'll just bring a light gray there and a darker gray for the death color, and then we now have that. Okay, so now if you go to um, floor, then set that to um, above floor. So now anything above this floor will show, 
but nothing else. So you can see some of the particles are almost sticking to the floor now. There aren't, it does cut off on how many there are. And I'm going to bring this solid just underneath this vignette so it looks a little more realistic. So we now have this. So if you want, you can add some more color correction um, to the particles themselves, maybe. Actually, maybe a glow would be cool on those. Um, it's that one. Turn up the radius and intensity. And that's looking all right. So it looks sort of like dust. So you can use this in a lot of situations. Um, this You can use this in an animated area. You can use this in an actual motion tracked area. You can use this for a lot of different things. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.